Welcome to day 32 of The Power of Repentance. For more than a month, I've been coming and making these short videos because I was so convicted that I and that others have forgotten that when we are oppressed by what's going on in the world, for the immediate need then, as it is now, was a heat wave and a severe drought that has absolutely burned the pastures, burned the crops, removed a lot of the water sources, and the wild things are still in jeopardy. I've seen evidence of, of just the toll that it's taking, and it's just very sad. Well, so a month ago, I wasn't seeing the calls for prayer that I normally see when this happens in Texas. And so I, I started making videos and I knew I was supposed to come back every day and as long as this has happened, so I have. But today I wanted to just kind of mention something to you that I was looking at. In 1623, the pilgrims were experiencing a horrific drought. Their crops were gone and their very survival was at stake. But unlike today, they had no question about where to go with their petition. So they called a day of humiliation. They said, nothing else is gonna to happen today. There's not gonna be any work. We only have one goal today, and that is we are going to cry out to the Lord for mercy and for whatever he will do for us in our distress. So when they met together that morning, they said oh, the, the sky was as clear and it was just as deep into the drought and there was nothing that was changed. But when they left eight or nine hours later, there were darkening clouds all around. And the next morning they had this most beautiful mist of a rain that lasted for 14 days. And all of the crops came back every Thing was redeemed. There's power in the Lord. There is power in our petition. There is power in repentance. There's power in humiliation when it's before the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm, I'm going to keep coming back as long as we have a heat wave. And if you're not in Texas, tomorrow we're ex uh, expected to break our record heat by maybe six to eight or nine degrees. And it hasn't rained. So I will continue to pray. And it is an exercise this last month making these videos for me to keep top of mind the fact that we have no power. I have no power over the weather. No man has power over the weather. Only the Lord Jesus Christ, only the creator of the universe. And whatever is going on in your life, whatever you need, whatever is broken, whatever you are without. When's the last time we had extended prayer and shared that with one another? So for today, it's something to think about. It is still hot. It is still dry. But the Lord Jesus Christ is as powerful today, and he loves you, and he loves me. So I'll see you tomorrow.